MTP tile maker and it opens up and you just click anywhere on the screen to load a button in or to load a, um, a PNG in. It's only PNG right now. And it, um, you, can, you can pick. It, this is a 12K picture, so it takes it a little longer to load in. I'm, sometimes it crashes the system, so you probably don't want to do bigger pictures than... You don't want to do 12K pictures. I do usually 8K pictures or 4K pictures or even just regular HD pictures. Um, but you can flip the... It, it quadruples the picture and mirrors it basically up and down, and you can flip it around. You can pick which configuration you want and you can zoom in a little bit and what I do is I zoom down and to the right just to make sure that there's no seams if you want a seamless tile to be produced and when you get bored with that you can look at another one apparently I can't decide which one to, to choose I'm trying to remember what tree, what the trees, a tree one, ornaments. Well, there you see the orientation. You know, one is mirrored, and then the other, the top is mirrored on the bottom. And you can zoom in a little bit. You can flip them around if you want. And what you want to do is, if if you're going for seamless, you want to zoom in down into the right, or else you get lines in it like it's happening here. But if you keep going, what's going to happen is it'll start. Um, multiplying it'll bring out more versions of itself so if you really want to make you know multiple copies you can just uh, zoom it out as much as you want although you could use the multiplexer that's kind of what this is for the multiplexer will do this without flipping it this will make it uh we'll, we'll just simply uh do the same thing but without flipping them the opposite ways and uh probably should make these combine them together but for right now they're separate programs and then we're going to zoom out some more all right so if you look at just the top corner of the picture that's the photo i took makes it easier to figure out what kind of photos you want to take and you can get some nice title stuff with this pretty easily and you, if you just zoom in a touch down and to the right a little bit you can flip it around to make sure that there's no seams in the in the uh, image when you're done if you ever want to use it for tiling um, which is kind of why I made this um, so if you do find seams you can actually fine-tune them with the edge button but like I say you want to kind of start from a zoom down into the right place so that it's a little bigger and you have room to use the edge button without the little without the edges coming out on it you kind of get a hang of it once you start doing it a little bit um, you can tell if there's seams in it by, by flipping it in the four directions up down left right and you can you'll see the seams and then you can kind of use the edge to uh straighten them out i think maybe i'll be doing that here let's see if i do that i don't know but like i say you can yeah see i'm checking to see if there's any seams it looks pretty smooth yeah all very smooth and then of course you want to print the picture you press the space bar and this and it'll bring up a dialogue and you can either just hit enter to, to save it or you could actually change the name to something that would make more sense to you later but it's just random numbers so more snow more snow here's a nice title type page and find you know interesting backgrounds too it'll make nice interesting backgrounds depends on what you shoot and how you shoot it I like to shoot things in the corner you know um, using you know catching catching the corner of stuff and leaving a lot of open sky or open space so you can do um, some interesting stuff with uh, flipping them and inverting them and stuff just interesting stuff and sometimes I'll take pictures of stuff with the subject matter 
in the corner of the camera, I'll angle the camera so that it just looks really weird. But it ends up looking cool when you tile it or when you do this to it, when you end up mirroring it. So I'm just kind of going through some pictures here. It's nice to get some shots up, 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 looking up trees so you get some depth in the image too. It's kind of more interesting. Here's one looking down. A nice title page and an interesting background. So it's all kinds of goofy, goofy stuff you can do. A nice title page or credits or whatever you want instructions but yeah I mean and you can do this all in like Photoshop type programs but it's you can see how fast I'm doing this with just you know the pictures I got so it's uh, it's a lot faster and I can do volume with this a lot easier than Photoshop plus I don't have you know I can choose the ones I want to save too it's not like a automated script or anything so it's a lot a lot easier on the brain to do it this way a nice background And the trees are always really interesting when you flip them like this. There's some crazy patterns. Kind of eliminate the stuff in the middle by zooming out or zooming in. Or zooming out, I guess, is the thing. You want to zoom down and to the right. And then when you flip it, you won't get seams. Sometimes it works out perfectly. Sometimes you have to zoom a little bit. Very interesting patterns, though. Some pretty good album covers from the 70s and 80s if you use this. Yeah, there's like four joysticks on here. I don't think I have any functionality on the fourth joystick. I thought I had something on there, but I don't think I do now. So I'll have to, I'll have to think about that for a while and goof around with it. Ah, these are pictures taken from the uh, uh, ice on a, on a window. That's zooming the wrong way to get rid of that. You want to zoom the other way to... Now I'm zooming the right way. So there's this, there's that seam. There's a nice uh, title page. But yeah, that's ice on a window, a poorly insulated window. It's got some amazing patterns. And of course, I, you know, kind of, you know, take a picture uh, up one side of the the viewer and across the bottom of the viewer, and that ends up making the best uh, the best for uh, uh, making title pages and stuff and whatnot. There's some fine tuning. I don't know if that is too much. It looks pretty good. Yes, pictures at night, <laughs> very dramatic with the ice. <laughs> very cool. And you can flip it around and just kind of choose if you find a, some, something you like, just press the space bar and give it a name. Nice background.
another title page. Some of these I, I shrunk down and uh, turned into columns and used them for uh, ribbon on the presents. There's, you know, all kinds of things to do. All kinds of things you can do it, with it. Uh, here's the, the multiplier effect. Just, just stretching it on out. You can do it symmetrically or you can make it asymmetric and it'll still look pretty cool. But yeah, ESC to exit, if I didn't mention that, on all these programs, usually the space bar will allow you to save the picture. I think I got to implement that on the wrapper too as a, as a, as a thing too, but uh, I'll get around to this. Some more ice. Now this was previously t uh, tiled ice that I'm actually putting back through the tiler. And then I'm also stretching it out even more so that it's uh, a more uh, intricate design. So yeah, be sure to run things back through the uh, program again if you find something cool. You just might might make it even cooler. Because I put it through the tiler, it won't flip. It's already been flipped. It's already been tiled. So flipping it doesn't won't change the orientation. Um, unless you uh, screw up the uh, aspect ratio. But yeah, this is a fun, a fun thing to do if you want to make some content for stuff. Some interesting patterns can come from it. You know, more ice. have to maybe add shift button to make it go faster if you really wanted to do the zoomies on this. Let's zoom in the wrong way. Well, it kind of does some funky effects this way too. It's hard to know what to expect till you try it, which is kind of why I like it, because it allows you to try things so quickly. 